What is going on everybody? Welcome to another In The Out episode. As you can see, it's still dark out. It's a little bit after six in the morning. We're headed from uh, Southwest Washington, where I live, down into Oregon. We're gonna go fish this really big, pretty lake up in the mountains that I grew up on fishing. And we're gonna eat whatever we catch, as long as we catch something. So it's got a lot of big trout, uh, bass, crappie, bluegill, stuff like that. We're gonna be doing some bank fishing. It's cold, it's rainy out, it's February. I'm excited. This is uh, where I grew up and this is the weather I grew up in. So stay tuned. We're gonna go uh, do a little catch and cook, whatever we eat, as long as we catch something on a really, really pretty mountain lake. It's gonna take us about an hour and a half to be there. So uh, we got a little bit of drive, but uh, I'll see you when we get there, guys. All right, guys, so we're getting super close to the lake and uh, I had to pull over because there's this massive herd of elk out here and they're just beautiful. So I thought I'd stop and uh, take a quick pick with them. And, but yeah, check these things out. What a herd that is. <laughs> they're so awesome. That's a pretty big herd. I'm, I'm really excited we got to see this. All right, let's get back on the road. It's uh, not the nicest day. Of course, the elk are enjoying it, but um, we're almost to the lake, so let's get there. Wow. All right, guys, well, we made it. I think I'm gonna uh, go ahead and get my rain gear on and then uh, search for a spot to fish, but it's a huge lake. There's a lot of area to cover. So I'm gonna get the rain gear out, get my gear set up, and then we're gonna hike down and uh, go check it out. And that's good luck. Last time I went bass fishing, I had two cranes scare the heck out of me and I hooked a big bass. <laughs> Let's go see if we can catch some lunch. Welcome to the rainforest. Looks like we got a little bit of a hike to get down here to the water, so enjoy the uh, walk through the woods here. Oh boy. Well, we got a couple options. I think maybe we'll make it down this way. Guys, look how pretty this is. Just need to see a couple big fish jumping. That's so pretty, just blowing away. 
These big logs are down. It's really muddy for clay. See this yellow clay? It's like massive clay. This is a reservoir. Feeds one of the local towns and whatnot. Uh, I'm sure they're in the process of filling it up. Man, it is muddy. I'm sliding all around. When I said I fished this a lot when I was a kid, um, that was by boat. Me and my dad would, first we started out in a canoe and he'd row me around this. And then he'd end up getting bigger boats as I got older. But, uh, you know, we used to troll Ford fenders and wedding rings and pull rooster tails and super dupers and triple teasers and all that stuff and just troll. So I think I'm just gonna kinda set up by this dirty old snag here. It'll give me a lot of room to set my stuff. Maybe give it a go right out here. It sure is a beautiful day. Man. It's gonna be nice to cook out here no matter what. But uh, let's see if we can get a fish. We can find us a good worm here. This guy will do just fine. I'm gonna use half of him. Okay, now we're gonna add marshmallow. You guys watched my uh, camping while fishing episode. You've seen the marshmallow egg and worm salad. Oh, egg. All right, there we go. Let's give it a toss out there.
All right, so I just threw a second setup out there and reeled the other one in because I think I got it out a little bit further, but I can't pull up my license on my phone, the Oregon license I got, to uh, see if I can use two rods here or not. So, so I'm definitely fishing. No nibbles yet, but I'm super thirsty, so I gotta get something to drink. That's fresh. Smell like a little mountain reservoir water. Come on, fishies. Just hoping we hit a hot spot. Man, I wish I knew if I could use those two rods or not. Super tempted to do it, but you never know. You don't know. Come on, we need a fish to cook. Let's go. It's beautiful out here. I don't know if you guys can see it raining just a little bit, but probably not the best for the phone. Good thing they're a little bit waterproof. I gotta get a GoPro. I don't know. We'll give it a little bit here and then uh, we might move spots and um, try another spot and then if we don't get nothing we'll just cook lunch but man come on we need a fish so we're switched up from the marshmallow worm and egg to a little garlic ball and some power bait and a worm See how that goes. It's been a little while. I haven't got any bites. I did set up the other rod with uh, a bobber. So I'm going to give this like 20 minutes and then we might try the bobber. I had to comb my hair for you guys because I had to put my hat on the camera. I mean, it's raining too much and that's one of my phones. So I'm going to get it too wet. But uh, it's pretty peaceful out here. I am starting to get hungry. We need to catch something. I don't even know what time it is. Ten o'clock. So we'll give it another hour and then we might move spots. All right, guys, we've been fishing that uh, we've been fishing that bobber for a little while, and uh, I've seen stuff on the surface, but I think it's salamanders. So we're gonna pack up, and uh, I don't know. We're gonna go to a different spot. So there's a spot down here with this creek flowing in and I kind of don't know if maybe I should go fish by the creek or fish out here where it opens up into the lake.
for the most part, I think it's pretty shallow. It's a pretty creek, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna go to another spot. Let's keep looking. Yeah, one more spot. And I'm gonna have to make this try a little bit and then we'll have to make some lunch. Wow. Check out these super cool oak trees. Look how much old man's beard is hanging from that thing. So last spot, and we're in a spot that I know pretty good. Um, there's a river out there. When this is down a lot lower in the summertime, you can walk out there a ways and then cast out and feel your Feel your gear drop down into this river because it's deep so i know there's fish around this spot we're gonna go over here to this point and uh get the rods out probably start cooking some lunch um if we don't hook anything like within the next hour but uh she's just so pretty out today i mean for a gray overcast rainy day the way the fog and the clouds are just setting in those trees i just can't believe it it's so beautiful i mean look at that this take, kind of takes my breath away. Orange marshmallow. All right, come on, fishy. We need a fishy. Come on, fishy, fishy. Let's go, guys. Fish. Or else we're having lunch with just the ingredients. <laughs> That's be funny. All right, come on, fishy, fishy. Come on, fishy, fishy. Let's go. guys well no fish and I'm hungry and my uh, main phone ran out of battery so now you guys are on my my personal phone we better eat something so what I've got in store <laughs> would have definitely been better with fish um, I planned on doing a fish taco. Uh, you know, the wrap, doing like a fried fish wrap um, and tortillas and everything. So instead, I'm gonna make a quesadilla and I have this really wonderful uh, tapatio ramen noodles that we're gonna boil up and make. I do still have the rod out, but I don't know. It just seems really slow today. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some water boiling. Get this tapatio going. And then, um, ooh, yum. Do you guys like tapatio? I've never had this before. I just saw it, grabbed it, and it was in the truck. Um, 
in case I ever got hungry. So, okay, perfect time, I'm hungry. All right, let me get some water to boil for that guy, and then we're gonna cook the quesadilla. Run out of battery here. Because we are running way low. And then you guys want to see something really fancy. Of course, I got Tim's chips, but uh, we're going to make a uh, quesadilla out of cheese sticks. So, cheese stick quesadilla and some ramen. Let's go. <laughs> one. Got to drive home. No cold beverages, no frosties, just uh, lake water. There you go. Cheers. A little bit of lake water in your diet. Can't stop looking at that rod. Um, I appreciate you guys following along. Man, I can't believe we didn't get even a bite. What a what a weird day. Like this lake's usually pretty good for catching trout and uh, I'm just not sure what happened. Just wasn't my day. I haven't even seen one caught, so that's weird. And usually there's some really big ones that come up when it's cold, but it's a warm day. I've been sweating. And like I said, I appreciate you guys being here and following along. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, that way you get to know when the uh, next episodes come on. You won't miss any future episodes. Do a lot of fishing, truck camping, outdoor adventure type stuff. I mean, I know I didn't catch any fish today, but I'm, I'm having a lot of fun right now. Like I'm looking forward to just, you know, cooking out in the, in the, on the lake here and uh, making up a little bit of food and having a meal and enjoying this beautiful scenery. and. Being out here and seeing the elk and the geese, it's just, uh, I just love being outdoors. So, like I said, thanks for uh, following along, guys. And just like that, we are boiling. Ooh. Now, let's make a quesadilla real quick. Get our cheese ready. Cheese steak quesadilla. Oh, hey. Let me try to, try to chase me. cheese mountain. Might take that a little while to melt. I'm trying to cook it on low. I don't want to burn the tortilla and not get the cheese melted. Ooh, ooh. I 
can smell it. We're getting the tortilla cooked too fast. Well, I probably put, should have put some butter in there. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh man, that's on there good. Not to worry. Definitely needed butter, which I had, just being lazy and didn't put it in there. Butter. Getting the butter melted in there now. Okay. There we go. That looks better. I can't believe how fast this little thing cooks. It's my first time cooking on it. Oh yeah, some hot noodles. Oh yes, okay. All right guys, well tell me what you think. We have the quesadillas hot, cheese is melted. We got some soup. <laughs> That's all right, huh? Oh man, I'm hungry though. Being out here all day. So warm and good and cheesy goodness. Good thing we had a backup tortilla. It's for you guys. Well, let me know what you guys think about me getting skunked. And like I said, we didn't get anything, but I'm having a pretty good day. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Camera battery went dead. It's pretty cool seeing the elk this morning. Mmm. not raining on us it's awesome that it's not raining right now I gotta tell you it's pretty good having hot meals wherever you go out doing this I love cooking out in the outdoors like this so good right now oh man I hit the spot Got my nose running, it's kind of spicy. All right, well, I'm gonna finish this up and then pack up and get out of here. I had a really good day. It was beautiful out. I enjoyed exploring the lake, seeing all the wildlife and looking at the mountains. I mean, those fog was setting into them and uh, you know, I had a really good time. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye on this one and uh, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Until then, I'll see you in the woods. Man. 
couple of tea noodles and jalapeno potato chips. I really got my nose running. Oh man, I hate getting skunked. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. Come on, man.